Uh, these are starting and will be going from nine o'clock. Uh, different members of the licensed ministry team will be sharing. And um, we just look forward to giving a very few minutes of uh, sharing. Uh, Uh, a few minutes of uh, thought for the day. Yesterday, I s reflected a little bit on the road to Emmaus walk, and there was a poem that was weaved through that reflection. I sort of offer that whole poem uh, just at this moment. So, a poem called In Disguise from Dave Hopwood at an Engage Worship. While they were walking together, he drew near in disguise, quietly listening unnoticed for a time. While they were talking together, he came alongside in disguise, available, asking what they were discussing. Don't you know, they said, are you oblivious? He smiled, tell me about it, he says. And so they did as they walked together, and he quietly listened in disguise, taking it all in. And so they talked and he listened, nodding at news he already knew, already understood on a much deeper level. And when they finished, he spoke in disguise. And he took them back in time, back through history and the prophets, back through pain and trouble and longing, back to the dawning of a plan. And so they stopped for food and he broke bread as he had done with them only days before. He lifted the bread in disguise and lowered it as Jesus of Nazareth, resurrected one. And as their eyes were opened, he disappeared. No more need for disguise, no more need to be there in that place. And so they ran back to their friends. No more escaping, no more fleeing. And as they told their story, he drew near again. And so it is today. Jesus of Nazareth often walks close in disguise, resurrected, listening, understanding, available. So it is today Jesus walks alongside in disguise, maybe. How often do I miss those moments? How often do we miss those moments when Jesus comes close and walks alongside us? In the last verse of Matthew's Gospel, Matthew 28, 20, teach them to obey everything that he commanded. Jesus said, and remember, I am with you always to the end of the age, a promise of his presence with us. We are called in our discipleship to be Christ-like. And um, I'll just post a comment on here with a YouTube clip because whether you love or hate this song, Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You does have truth within it. And I've put the um, link there on the comments just so that um, you can have a listen later. It's the version from Songs of Praise. Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. And so really that's the thought for the day. How can we keep our eyes open to Christ's presence with us? But more, what can I do? What can each of us do to reach out and reach out in Christ's likeness to somebody else? A phone call, a letter, an email, an offer to do shopping, anything like that. What can we do to just be that bit more Christ-like today? My thoughts and prayers are with you and I'll be leading morning prayer on Zoom fairly shortly at half past nine. God bless, stay safe, stay safe and keep well. Amen.